At the ANA Alliance for Family Entertainment, we believe that good family-oriented content is content that the entire family can sit in front of, watch together, be entertained, and maybe even be enlightened. If there's a, a social message or a teachable moment for a family, that makes it even better. But good family content would be something that maybe it inspires, maybe it uplifts, but I think that it entertains. So we're not looking for saccharin, we're not looking for leave it to beaver, but we think good family entertainment um, would be something like the Gilmore Girls, one of the shows that we supported with our script development fund. Um, that was a show where there were a lot of issues between the mom and the daughter. It was not a traditional family. Good family entertainment uplifts, entertains, and maybe even educates. It's a great opportunity for distributors, the networks, the creative community, the writers, and the advertisers to provide content in one place so that the whole family can enjoy it. It's really a great place to be. Um, we're excited to um, be uh, participating with the Alliance for Family Entertainment to really help support moms, to give her a voice uh, in the types of programming that she wants to see and really work hard to serve her. We're excited about the things that uh, the ANA is doing, the research that they're fostering. Um, you know, the, we think that there's a really a, a great opportunity for brands to you know, step up their involvement as it relates to families and really supporting moms, particularly in the time that we're in with the economy and other things and the con concern that mom currently has as it relates to the lack of good quality family options that are out there for her. So as Walmart, we're very excited to be um, uh, participating with uh, the Alliance and look forward to a, a really great relationship over the coming years. Good family content is content that deals with today's social issues and it deals with them in a responsible way. And most importantly, it deals with things that parents can then go and have conversations with their kids about. So it's entertaining, but it also provides a purpose and leads to greater conversations. There are a lot more issues that kids are faced with today. And I think from a content standpoint, there's a variety of entertainment out there, a variety of entertainment sources. And some of it is entertainment for the purpose of entertainment and a lot of violence and it doesn't always end in the responsible resolutions. I think back when I was a kid a lot of there were number one fewer programs to begin with and then the programs usually had some kind of a, a story or a meaning or some kind of uh, responsible resolution and we need to see more of that. I think family content is something that the entire family can enjoy together. You know I know I talk to my children and they say mom dad can we watch TV together? You know it's great family time, it's great bonding time. Um, but, but what I think is, is most uh, needed is more content that's free of you know, the graphic violence, the, the gratuitous sex scenes, the language that are really not central to the plot or to the storyline. You know, we, we just need some of those uh, great classic shows that have the timeless values that multi-generationally we can sit together and watch and enjoy and feel good about. It starts with mom. It starts with her heart. It starts with what she cares about most. It starts with whatever her values are. And when you get into the mind of moms, you see something really special. You see someone who views her family in a hopeful way. And family entertainment should help really play on that. What we hear 98% of the times, moms are saying they don't want their family themselves at the end of the day watching things that makes her job more difficult. 85% of moms are willing to go out there and actually find where is that great programming. It's not what we think is great, it's what she thinks is great. And she's willing to go out and hound the marketplace to find it. So this opportunity of finding great family programming is fantastic for everyone involved. For advertisers, for the people who are developing the programs, and most importantly, for the families. For so long, people thought of content as something that appears on television. And as we all know, that's changed. The multiplicity of platforms is where I think the excitement is. It turns out the ANA and Humanitas have a lot of things in common in terms of trying to create programming that's enlightening, that's humane, that teaches human values. And, and we thought it would be a perfect partnership to come together and try to promote that kind of programming by developing projects of our own. Traditionally, you know, people think of video gaming as uh, you know, the racing or the shooters or gore, but uh, over time, family entertainment has uh, really taken a strong foothold in video gaming. Family genre on the console uh, it represents, you know, has grown about 66% in the past five years, and is uh, last year was one of the largest segment share 
of all the genres of video games. So it's really come a long way. And a lot of the things that we're uh, revolving around our content development include a wide variety of uh, different topics. But what's most important to us is the integration of family-friendly content. And what we mean by that is fam family-friendly content is, that is relevant to the consumer. As we know today, there are many types of different families. And what we want to make sure that there are a balance of choices that exist out there for our viewers and potential customers to take advantage of, of watching. And a lot of what we're trying to accomplish is really to kind of get our, weave our brand message into that family-friendly programming so that we can create an environment that will be positive not only for the consumer, but also for the viewers who are taking, uh, taking in that content. I have been part of the executive committee of the, family, the Alliance for Family Entertainment for many years now, and I believe strongly that it's incredibly important for us as an organization to be encouraging, helping to develop, create, and to give families an alternative to some of that which is on the air and to have programs that truly everybody can watch together or perhaps talk about afterwards even if they watch in separate rooms. For me, family content is when you're watching something with your family and you don't have to be worried about diving for the control because something this tasteful is going to show up. Everybody has a different definition. Frankly, I think we need to let our consumers tell us a little bit more about what they think is good family content. Sometimes we assume, let's let the research show what does mom enjoy watching with her family. Let's bring it into the solution as well.